Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. It's opening week in the NFL, and today we have two teams who are more than ready to get the season underway. It's the Raiders going up against the Titans. With that, let's call in our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis with this opening week matchup. Thank you, Larry. We welcome everyone to the Music City, just a stone's throw from the Country Music Hall of Fame. We are at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Oakland Raiders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and this is one of the more compelling matchups on the Week 1 slate. I think if you polled people and asked which two teams in the NFL are closest to taking that next step, not out of the question that you get Oakland and Tennessee in some order, 1 and 2. Yeah, and for Oakland, the next step is deep into the playoffs. They got back to the playoffs last season, but didn't have their quarterback for that run. Without him, they ended up going out early. As far as Tennessee, a surprising 9-7 and seven season in 2016. You're exactly right. They believe they're going to take the next step back into the NFL playoffs. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback. Out of Oregon, it's Marcus Mariota. Now a play fake here on first down. Being chased out left. And has some space here. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. They'll roll him out right. And this will come up by the lady rocker. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Murray. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. They go with Murray again. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Now third down, less than a yard. Definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, something you've got to play a long game. Keep handing it to him. It's in those runs out right now. They turn to the six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. It's a game of four that time. They go play action here on first down. And it takes a shot the release as this will be incomplete quickly now the starting 11 for the Oakland defense if you're a GM in the NFL and someone wants to question your credentials and you say well I drafted Khalil Mack you're good to go because Khalil Mack was a 2016 NFL defensive player of the year looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively It's Mariota. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. This is Murray. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. So important that you keep an opening drive going because you want to set the tempo right away. You and I both know you can't set the tempo if you're playing the football away. Yeah, maybe your length are going to be too over the top, but you're right. Big third down conversion. Nice work to get seven. A long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Here's Murray. And yeah, he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now it's a bootleg with Mariota. Alluding the pressure right. He can handle it to the goal line. He loses the football. A really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Off the 
play fake. Mariota. And he just throws this one away. Now spotted at the four. It's second and goal. The run, it's Murray. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Time running out here on the play clock. Now they'll run. Murray. Time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. They've already gone for it and made it once on this opening drive. They're going to try it again on fourth down. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. False start offense. Your options change dramatically. Not only is it tougher to go for it, but what if you decided just to line up and try to draw them off sides? If you did it on fourth and short, you could pick up the cheap first down. Now, you still won't get a first down, even if you do exactly the same thing. I feel like we just ran a marathon. That was a long drive. They probably wanted six if they're going to go that many plays. And there were no checkpoints, no watering stations, nothing like that, right? Good job by the offense, because not only did they possess the ball for that long, they wore down the defense. That could pay dividends later. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. Derek Carr, he'll be the one leading the troops. Pro Bowl quarterback in his fourth year now out of Fresno State. And I remember when he was a prospect coming out of college and people were wondering about different parts of his game. What all came together nicely in 2016. Had the Raiders at 11-3, and three, had them thinking Super Bowl before injury finished his season. They're counting on him to take them to new heights. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. As a team that should be more comfortable with the schemes that they're playing, as well as being able to add a few new ones because they stayed stable on the defensive side in their staff. So what they're teaching now, they've learned before. They should be able to tune that up a little bit and get better play on the back end in order to improve that number from 2016. And the offensive starters here for the Raiders. Now Carr going on second down. And this one completes to Seth Roberts. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field. So he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. At the defensive starters for Tennessee. One of the areas of need for the Tennessee Titans in 2017, an elite safety. So they went out and signed Jonathan Cyprian. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. <laughs> Defense showing blitz. <laughs> Call again here on second and 10. <laughs> Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he'll be a little shy of the 25. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like the normal wide receivers, but they have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks. Absolutely. And you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. He kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is good. That's what they were aiming for. You want to keep moving the sticks, get into a rhythm, gain confidence. They'll run with Lynch. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of five there. And they still need 10 yards here to find Pedro. It's second and goal from the 10. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the 8. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness. Think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I would run it here, guys. You might want to try to run it. This is caught. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. So one quarter in the books on NFL kickoff weekend. 3 nothing is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA 
Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. First play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's got it. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Clive Walford, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Raiders are able to cash in for six. How about that, partner? A little razzle-dazzle. Fake field goal that turns into a pass and a touchdown. Fooled everyone, including us. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with an Oakland touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And we'll be on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the purse. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, the thing must get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one for even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Mariota now on second down, escaping the pressure run. And he'll be out of bounds past the 45. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nowhere ready to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Working out of the gun. Mariota. And it's a room to the over. And he slides to avoid the hit. Let's film of this game and hand out the grade sheets. He's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up the first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. To throw Mariota. Rashad Matthews here on the catch. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And it breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And they've got it in the red zone now. Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he is met at the line of scrimmage. And the Titans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. To throw is Mario. Flushed out right. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's the type of play there that puts a defense in a stress. Marcus Mariota on the run. You don't know whether he's going to take it downfield or throw the footballs we just saw there. And boy, was he accurate with that one. You know, the Oregon coaches offered him a scholarship without ever seeing him start a game because they saw him. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Success this year, the more they can put the football in his hands, the better coming off a Pro Bowl campaign. And that Pro Bowl campaign does more than just get him notoriety. It also plants an idea in the minds of guys trying to defend him that he's really pretty good and sometimes gives you a little bit of extra room, a little bit of extra deference, and he's taking advantage of it. The 
Pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And DeMarco Murray, the one to finish it off with a touchdown run. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out, and they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's home. Uh, agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Now a play fake. It's Carr. He sets to fire deep. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll take it down deep into Tennessee territory. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Don't start offense. And that'll set him back five. season we'll be checking in with Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of our first half. That's my man. That's your guy. Here's Kyle. They set up the screen to Lynch. And he gets the first down yardage he needs. But well, they've had a great impressive drive going here and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And now do you continue the drive which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now. But you make your own defense happen. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. 
Marshawn Lynch, his first ever touchdown in silver and black. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Four times out of six. Not bad. This will be a tough third and 18. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get to the highlights. The Titans are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Raiders won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Fourth and goal. And he kept off the long drive on the TD. They're now on top by four. Down the way for a second. Murray scored to off the left side. And he kept off the long drive with the touchdown. First and ten. Titans score by four. Crabtree's wide open down the field. Raiders later on the drive. And he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 18-yard line. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. the Raiders offense they'll go on offense first to start quarter number three they're down here but very much in this game what, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this of every mission? typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that sure you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because This game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Had his hands off for a second. A little bit of tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Part of throw on third and one. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line. And here comes play number six on this drive. Card goes to Marshall. And they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line. 
That can until it's prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, you try to give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. And this throw is going to be incomplete. A red turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't need to completion that. Made it very difficult. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those Nicholas set packages, don't they? Derek Carr and due in large part to a good O-line. Carr was sacked on less than 3% of his dropbacks last year, lowest in the league. Oakland knew it was important to take care of their quarterback. They picked up Donald Penn, Colegio Semele, and Rodney Henson in recent years, and it's paid off. Around the NFL, they've gone to the third in Cleveland. It's the Browns. They lead that ball game at the moment. Cody Kessler, two touchdown passes to lead the way. So he missed a field goal earlier, but he says not this time, and he's able to knock it through to give his guys three. And that's all you want as a kicker, the chance to redeem yourself. you got to have a short memory if you're going to survive at this level, and he's able to get back on track. Then it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. And here, do you change up anything on this opening ground? Defensively, you don't. You get... They'll run it now out of the gun. But they did. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. The other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the work done. That might be the direction that they're going to go right now. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense with like five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans at a first down. Now again, this is Murray. They showed up a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackle. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The gap nicely kept him to just a one-yard game. Derrick Henry, and he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard. And they've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him a short, steady burst. Now Mariota throwing the out route incomplete. That's Walker, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So they don't get a touchdown here in this opening drive in the third quarter, but I think you still say mission accomplished as they come away from it with the lead. Absolutely. You've got to apply the pressure here, make the other guys play catch up for a while, and now you just hope your defense can step up and protect the lead. They will take this up past the 20 and down at the 22 yard line. Shift together here from the D line. They'll try to get something going to Marshawn Lynch. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 
29, just shy of the 30. That's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. might be the best of the bunch. Parnell on first down. Crabtree has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Looking from the gun, it's caught. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Try it again on second down. They'll set up the screen to Lynch. And he is going to lose yardage here. Being there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think, no, I like what you said there, because trying is one thing we can second guess just about every time. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver. Here comes play number six on this drive. This is third and nine. Throwing his car on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. No gain at all on the play there. And that brings up four. 
They caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Checking in on Houston. It's in the fourth quarter there. And Jacksonville, they have moved out in front late. Blake Bortles, a single touchdown pass to this point in that one. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. They'll run it again with Henry. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On third down, Mariota. Nine Tigers left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Khalil Mack. Able to get outside the numbers and drop him for a loss of a yard. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left a little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Checking in on Houston. It's in the fourth quarter there. And that one's gone back and forth, and it's the Jags that have scored to take the lead. Blake Bortles with one touchdown pass thus far. So they're leading. They have possession of the football, and certainly this is where they just want to milk the clock. Well, first and ten. Here's Carl. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. They certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Lines right left side. And he's able to get this one down. 40 yard line for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. on third down today. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. They're looking at a third and goal here. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Third and goal from the five. Maybe a little play action situation. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Marshawn Lynch already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Raiders add six to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. It's the rookie, Adoree Jackson, on the return. Turn here, he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out 
come the Titans now. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Two score again. Onside kick and get the ball back, and then score again. taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Offense. Efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Here's Mario. Scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. First down now, but that clock rolling. And the spike comes with just 12 seconds left to go. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. This to get it back to a one-score game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, Brandon. <laughs> the Raiders that will come up with it and that will put victory in sight for the silver and black they had to go for it with no timeouts remaining though now this one's as good as over they gave it an effort they tried their best did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick you're exactly right they had to try it it was their only option and now this game is done just take it kneel and call it a day They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the flyover, the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. We get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Raiders, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they will head home next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Tennessee... They obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Nashville.